In today's video, we're going to be sharing with you guys 10 of the most OP bot lane combos that will have you stomping games in Season 14. From old classics to brand new Season 14 combos, we've got a little bit of everything in this one, so if you're looking to duo up in the bot lane or just want to know what some of the best synergies are right now, we've got you covered. Also, we're excited to announce we've done a massive update adding all brand new courses for Season 14 on our website, skillcap.com. And if that's not enough, we upload 10 new Smurf commentaries every week where a challenger teaches you how to play every champion in the exact rank you're stuck in. The best part? You can try all this out completely risk-free. If you don't rank up while actively using Skillcap, you get your money back, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below to get the rank you've always wanted in Season 14. Let's start the video off by breaking down one of the newest and most broken combos that you can play right now, being Twisted Fate with Zillion. If you guys haven't been playing a ton in the past while, Twisted Fate has actually become a legitimate ADC pick due to his 14.2 buffs. Riot added a bunch of AD ratios to his spells, and he now scales much better with crit as well. So what makes this duo of Twisted Fate and Zillion so strong? Well, there's a few reasons. The first is that Zillion's speed boost makes it so easy for Twisted Fate to get in range of his gold card. Finding catch plays is so effortless with this duo, and you can catch the enemy sleeping more often than not. When you reach the mid game with this combo, what you should be looking to do is chill out in the fog of war, wait for an enemy champion to move up to clear a wave, and then fly out of the bush with Twisted Fate sped up and get easy catches this way. Unless the enemy is spacing like a god, the Zillion player will just pop a speed boost on TF and have him run right up to the enemy for free picks. The second reason to why this synergy is so strong is due to Twisted Fate's stun easily setting up for Zillion's double bomb. Hitting Zillion Q when the enemy is already CC'd is completely foolproof, and when Twisted Fate stuns with his gold card, Zillion will always be able to follow with his Q for added poke that is undodgeable. The gank assist of this duo is completely nuts because the chain CC from a TF gold card followed by a Zillion double bomb stun will have the enemy locked down for a very long duration. All in all, a great synergy for Season 14 and one of the more underrated ones at the moment. So with Smolder just being released, who can you look to duo up with him to ensure the highest chance of success? Smolder is a champion that scales incredibly well, but his early game is not the greatest. In this case, pairing Smolder up with an enchanted support who can keep him safe in lane and allow him to scale is optimal. The best enchanter for Season 14 is Janna, so she's who we'd recommend pairing with Smolder. Especially level 6 onwards, it's going to be very difficult for enemies to get onto Smolder with a Janna by his side. Once Smolder gets going and reaches 225 stacks of his Q passive, he begins hitting extremely hard and the only thing that will stop him are dive champions. In this case, there's really nobody better to pair with Smolder than Janna as her peel power is arguably the best in the game for any champion. The win condition is definitely easier said than done with this duo, but it's all about surviving lane and then making sure the Janna player plays beside the Smolder at all times in teamfights. This next combo is statistically one of the most broken in the game for Season 14, and it consists of Seraphine paired up with Senna. You're playing Seraphine as the carry here and Senna as the support. The big draw to this duo is just how much utility and damage the pair brings. Oftentimes with most bot lane duos, you have your ADC as the main damage dealer but who lacks utility, while the support lacks damage but brings the utility. This combo literally has everything, since both champions can output a crazy amount of damage while providing their team with so much healing, shielding, and CC. The only downside to the duo is that both champions are a bit more on the squishy side, so they can be more vulnerable to hard engage early on. Your main goal with this duo should be to stay even and lay low until you can both reach two items. As long as you don't fall behind, there is no bot lane duo in the game who is going to outscale you post 25 minutes. The longer the game goes with Seraphine Senna, the greater chance you have to win since both champions scale incredibly well. This next combo is a bit of an unusual one, but it has so much potential if it is executed optimally. Lucian ADC with Camille's support is the synergy, and this duo is your all-out kill lane. You have kill threat as early as level 1 with the combo, as Camille's E combined with Hail of Blades will lock the enemy down and offer a great amount of burst. Lucian is going to take press the attack for his keystone rune, so when Camille stuns the enemy, it's very easy for Lucian to follow with a lot of burst himself. You really want to avoid leashing with this duo if possible. The level 1 cheese play is what makes this combo so great, as you want to dip into the far lane brush and wait for the enemy to walk to lane. The Camille should then engage on whichever champion is more squishy and easy to burst out. You should at the very least burn the enemy's flash and chunk them out so they cannot lane, if not, pick up first blood. If you end up getting an early advantage with this combo, the snowball potential is ridiculous. Lucian works super well with Camille because he has the ability to follow up on her catch plays from long range. Even though someone like Draven would in theory be great with Camille, he doesn't have the same kind of long range follow up as Lucian to capitalize on those Camille catch plays. This next synergy has so much catch potential and the duo 
duo carry power is immense as we've got Varus with Maokai. In order for Varus to out DPS the enemy ADC in a skirmish, he needs to be able to get 3 autos off to stack his W passive and then hit an ability to consume the stacks. With Maokai's crazy strong lockdown, the tandem works perfectly together as Varus will have plenty of time to stack his W passive and follow up on the Maokai engage with lots of burst. Level 6 is really where this combo becomes unstoppable and nearly uncounterable. If Maokai has his flash available and the enemy is playing within the range of his flash W, you should have a free kill every single time. Maokai starts off the engage and then Varus follows up with his R to chain CC the enemy and offer no escape. It is crucial that the Maokai player does not use his Q and knock the enemy to the side though, as it can have some anti-synergy if Varus is trying to line up his R. As the Maokai player, always try to knock the enemy back in the direction that Varus is standing. Lethality poke Varus specifically can work super well with Maokai because the instant burst will ensure you capitalize on the catch plays that Maokai finds. Poke Varus is also way better when played with champions who offer strong CC lockdown as it makes landing his skill shots much easier. This next combo is a straightforward win condition that if executed well will have you stomping games as we have Caitlyn with Bard. The reason this combo works so well is due to Bard being able to set up a guaranteed trap for Caitlyn. Level 6 is where the combo really comes online as you're looking to play off of Bard's R. Whenever Bard has R available, you should be looking for catch plays as a Bard R into Caitlyn trap combo is extremely lethal. It's really just about rinse and repeating whenever Bard has R as you should be able to gain lots of advantages off of it throughout the game. Since Caitlyn is one of the safer ADCs early on, it also helps to enable Bard if he's looking for a roam play. Kate can sit back and farm from range with Q and if the enemy tries to engage on her, she just backs off with E. One of the best kill lanes that you can play if you like being super aggro is Misfortune with Leona. This one is a classic that will never really get old and with both Misfortune and Leona in really great spots for their respective roles right now, the duo is even higher value. Win condition with this synergy is to play off R cooldowns. Leona has the potential to lock an enemy down for multiple seconds when she has R available and that just opens up for MF to get off a fully channeled ultimate. Whenever Misfortune is able to rain down with a fully channeled R, there's a very high chance you're going to win the fight and Leona does a great job at enabling that. With the meta build for Misfortune being lethality, it makes the synergy that much more lethal because the follow up burst is incredible. As the Leona player, a really great strategy to make this duo hit even harder is to take the Bloodsong support upgrade. Bloodsong will amplify your all in strength even more and it actually has the highest win rate for any support upgrade on Leona. With Leona's passive providing bonus damage combined with the Bloodsong item, you offer the Misfortune a ridiculous amount of burst power. This next duo is arguably the most broken in the game if piloted optimally as it's Jin paired up with Zyra. The catch power and follow up kill threat from this duo is absolutely disgusting. Level 6 onwards, if a Zyra E hits or a Jin W connects, the enemy should just straight up die every single time. Zyra E into Jin W followed by both champions ultimates offering so much lockdown and damage at the same time. A lot of the time, the enemy should just die after Zyra uses her E and R, but in the odd chance the enemy flashes away, that's where Jin R comes in for the insurance to finish off kills. This duo just takes capitalizing on picks to a whole nother level as there's so many ways in which they can secure kills. What makes the combo even stronger for Season 14 is the fact that Jin runs the lethality setup. This just means that the burst damage coming out of Jin W and Q is so much higher, so when Zyra finds those picks, the ability for Jin to secure kills is incredibly high. We featured a lot of aggressive duos so far in this video, so if you would rather play a more late game scaling duo, the best synergy is Vayne with Melio. Vayne is top tier in the ADC role right now, and when paired with Melio, her impact absolutely skyrockets. The only thing that stops Vayne from being able to 1v9 are dive champs and being hit by CC, and Melio does a phenomenal job at shutting those kinds of champions down. As Vayne with Melio, you have one get out of jail free card for every single fight due to Melio's ultimate being a cleanse. This allows Vayne to be super aggressive and force the issue, especially against comps that only have one or two key CC spells. The speed boost and shields that Melio's kit provides is amazing for Vayne as well, as it keeps her even safer in team fights. The general win condition for this duo is to get Vayne to two items and then have Melio protect her at all costs. Scaling strength of this combo is super insane, so the longer games last, the better. A good Vayne player should have no issues at all hard carrying games with Emilio once she reaches a couple items. And for our 10th and final duo of the video, we're back with another very aggro synergy with Neela and Tarek. Both champions complement each other so well because Neela wants to be diving in aggressively while Tarek thrives with champions that want to play up close. When Tarek is paired with most other ADCs, he has to be the one to engage and line up his E stun. With Neela though, both champions want to be playing in melee range so it makes hitting Tarek stun that much more reliable. At level 6 with this duo, the dive threat and kill power is actually not even fair. A simple way to approach fights is for Neela to initiate the engage by flash ulting in and then Tarek immediately follows with his ultimate. Prior to Tarek's ultimate popping, Neela can use her W to block a lot of auto damage from the enemy and then when Tarek R comes in, she'll take no damage at all. There's really no better combo in the game when it comes down to 
forcing all in plays. Enemy bot lane has very little counterplay to this, especially if their flashes are on cooldown. Since season 14 is all about bot lane focus and diving bot lane has become even easier for junglers due to the map changes, playing a good Neela Terra can have you absolutely running over games. The combo is lesser played as well, so if you can master it with a duo partner, you'll have such an edge up on your opponents since they won't know what to expect. If you truly want to improve and rank up fast, head on over to skillcap.com. We just finished a massive update adding all brand new courses for season 14. We even upload 10 new smurf commentaries each week where a challenger teaches you how to play every champion in the exact rank you're stuck in. And remember, you can try all this out risk free. If you don't rank up while actively using skill cap, you get your money back, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below to get the rank you've always wanted this season. So that's going to wrap up everything for our season 14 edition of the best bot lane combos. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Good luck with these synergies and we'll see you back soon.